Hey guys, it is me again. Today is uh, Tuesday, July the 17th. Makes it day 199 on our Daily Bread Project 2012. Guys, I do realize that the uh, audio will probably off, will probably be off pretty bad on this vid, uh, considering that as uh, as long as it took for the video to just start, I can kind of tell when I uh, start my camera. Every how long it takes it to actually turn on and start recording, usually the longer it takes, the worse the audio is off. So uh, I do apologize for that if it is off. I'm sure it probably will be, but uh, maybe we'll get that worked out someday. And you know, some nights it's not off. You know, some nights it's it's pretty much right on the money. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here. I do apologize for not being here last night. I do got to make this video quick tonight. Just to be honest about it, guys, I wasn't here last night because I just I was bummed out, you know. And, you know, like I told you guys, I'll tell you the truth. I'll I'll tell you when I when something happens, or I'll tell you when uh, you know I just don't feel like doing a video. And uh, you know, as you guys know, and that's I was kind of getting into that, guys. Uh, again, this kind of goes into a prayer request, guys. Pray for me. I mean, man, pray like pray for me like you've never prayed before. Uh, this motorcycle that I've been telling you guys about, the one that the boy and the motorcycle both have been driving me crazy, it's still going. It's still going on, guys. I don't know. Uh, and I don't say this as a joke. I'm really serious about this, guys. I wonder if if God is punishing me for something. Uh, with this motorcycle and this guy. I don't know if he's punishing me for something. He's trying to teach me something. Uh, I've never had this kind of problems with, with stuff. Uh, you know, I have done dozens and dozens of these bikes before and never had a problem. Uh, I don't know, guys. It just did. The bike left, you know, that one night that he, the last night the boy was here and he rode it, I almost had it perfect. I had the map. I'm in close. And uh, I called the guy at Dino Jet. He said, oh, just let them, let them ride the bike. Let them keep riding it. You know, it'll tune itself. You know, it'll get on in there perfect. And uh, I don't know, the boy's daddy, that was like on the thir last Thursday night. The boy's daddy come Saturday and picked the bike up. The boy called me that day or that evening. We were just talking about some other stuff. And he said, you know what? He said, Dad said that bike missed on him coming home. He said, but I think he was just lugging it or something. Well, anyway, yesterday, guys, and that's like I said, that's the reason I didn't make the vid last night. He called me last night. Well, actually, he texted me, and I called him back. And he rode the bike yesterday evening, and now the bike has got a misfire in it. I don't know how. I don't know why. The the fuel programming and all that, I don't see how it could cause a misfire. Uh, but anyway, guys, I don't I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm just about to lose my wits over it. Uh, you know, and it's one of them deals. I think the boy can tell I'm aggravated because he kind of, he, he said he'd let me not, he, we would take this week off and he wouldn't make me work on into the evenings, which I told him, I tried to get him, I told him, I said, listen, what you need to do is let your dad, because he works during the days, I said, let your dad bring that bike back to me and leave it. You know, that's the big thing, guys, and that's what I want you to pray for. Pray that he'll let his dad bring it back and leave it. You know, it's just he's, between him trying to be here while I'm doing it and just trying to do it in the evenings while he's here. And I just, you know, I need the bike here so I can tune on it during the day and I can fix the bike, hopefully. So just just pray pray for me, guys. I mean, I'm serious. I, it, I'm starting to not sleep good over it. I mean, it's just like I said, I don't know. I've never had a problem like this. Uh, like I said, I've done the same exact job on dozens of bikes and never had a hiccup. You know, let alone the kind of problems we've had with this bike. So, um, just pray, guys, because like I said, it's 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 affecting me bad, and uh, I'm never going to get through it without the Lord's help, without Him, without Him, uh, you know, sending His His divine hand down and helping me. So, uh, you guys pray for that. And like I said, that's why I wasn't here last night. I just I was so upset. After he told me that, that that bike was really misfiring, even though he, you know, he's been cool about everything. I mean, he really has. But, you know, just knowing that, oh, here we, you know, here I'm going to have to spend another week or two working on this bike. And, you know, trying, you know, it's just, it got me so upset last night I couldn't even make a video. You know, I thought my heart was going to get out of rhythm on me when I was talking to him on the phone because it upset me so bad. So, Anyway, guys, just pray for that. Pray for our business, guys, so far this week. It's rained here every day this week so far, and 
like I've told y'all before, when it rains, our business is not the best in the world. So this week is, thank the Lord, we've had some people that owed us some money, and it's come in this week. But if it hadn't have been for that, guys, I'll be honest, what's today, Tuesday? In two days, we've literally not already brought a dime in. I mean, like I said, except for that stuff that people owed us. So I thank the Lord for that. But, uh, you know, it just, like I said, I know the Lord's going to take care of us, guys, so just pray for that as well. So anyway, getting on to it, guys, I can't be too late tonight. First Thessalonians chapter 4, starting in verse 7. Here we go. For God hath not called us unto... Let me start again. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. I don't know why I'm having such trouble tonight, guys. It's not that late. I'm actually not near as late as I usually am. Anyway, let's keep going. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed ye do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet, and do your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack of nothing. But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus Christ, excuse me, Jesus, it didn't say Christ, that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. That means we won't go before them which are asleep. Now guys, this right here is one of the strong verses that most people believe. This is why most people believe in a pre-tribulation uh, rapture or even a rapture period. And, and I know it's not called that, but uh, and we'll keep on reading here. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Meaning, guys, when Jesus comes back, the people that are already dead and in the graves, they're going to rise up first. I'm assuming that this is not going to be a big time frame difference in none of it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they're going to rise up and go, and then two days later, the people that are alive are going to go. It's going to be kind of snap, snap. But anyway, the people that are, that are dead in the graves are going to go first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. This is another reason that I that I believe in a tri pre tribulation rapture, as this verse eighteen. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. And I know guys that that may not sound like a whole lot, just saying wherefore comfort one another with these words. But guys, if these are going to be comforting words to us. What I'm trying to say is, I don't believe, if Paul was meaning here that this was going to ha happen after the tribulation, or in the middle of the tribulation, and we were going to be here during all this, and be through the worst time that the world's ever seen, I don't see how these words would be comforting, is what I'm trying to say. So, anyway, guys, that's where we're going to stop tonight, we'll continue tomorrow night, good Lord willing, in 1 Thessalonians 5.1. Guys, like I said, no joke. I mean, I know I've asked you guys to pray for me before, but I mean, seriously, this is, the, the, and I hate to admit this, guys, but this this motorcycle and getting this done, and not only the doing it, but the worrying about it now, like I said, that's got the misfire in it. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what's caused it to miss. I run every scenario through my mind. I'm sitting there going, oh, Lord, did it lean out too much, and did it burn a piston, or did it burn a valve? Or, I mean, I don't. it shouldn't have done anything like that, but. It's just got me worried to death, guys, and that's the thing. The boy says, oh, well, we'll wait till next week. Well, if we wait till next week, that means he's going to be bringing it to the evenings. And, guys, I'll just be honest. I don't want to work on it at the evenings. I want him to bring it and leave it and drop it off and let me work on it during my normal work hours. So pray for that, guys. Pray that that, that will happen and I can line this back out and get it out of my hair because, no joke, guys, it is it's destroying my stability. It's killing my life. I mean, it really is. I hate to admit that, but it is. 
So, anyway, guys, thank you all for being here. Thank you for being my support. I love you all. If you need anything, let me know, guys. Good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night. Until I see you all again, good night, and God bless. Oh, one more thing. P.S. Brother Woody, I appreciate you sending me the email with the uh, we Shock of God's review on it. I appreciate that, so thank you. Anyway, guys, good night, and God bless.